Hi, I'm Dr. Angelic Muhammad with Inspire All Corporation. I just exposed my business on BizLink TV Network. Learn how you can love yourself more, appreciate the meaning of life, and become more productive and unify with others in the world. Coming up on my episode of That's My Biz on BizLink.TV. That's My Biz is sponsored by Visita Live Site and Constant Contact. Hi everyone, Pamela Alexander and welcome to another episode of That's My Biz. As always, we love bringing you the wonderful businesses, nonprofits, and associations that we meet when we're out there networking and we aim to please. We have another great guest with us today. We want to remind you that you can watch this episode again at www.bizlinks.tv. You can also check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash bizlinks tv make sure that you like the post make sure that you also share and give us some comments as well ask some questions for our uh, guests you can also go to our youtube channel youtube.com forward slash bizlinks tv out there don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date on our episodes as they are released also give us some comments and some shares as well they also post to g plus so that way you get a uh, two for one so we want to make sure that you engage with us we have our guest with us today miss uh dr angelic muhammad yes, welcome ma'am. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, she has, her business is Inspire All Corporation, and she motivates to assist communities in making positive changes across the U.S. She works with individuals so that they can just love life. They can uh, just appreciate the meaning of life as well, learn to love themselves, become more productive and unified with others in the world. So we want to really get into that. But the first thing that I want to ask you, Inspire All. Now, you'll see the name um, on the screen screen and how it's spelled because it has a meaning. So tell everyone what Inspire All is all about. Okay, so Inspire All, the, the meaning is intellectualizing new spirits. Okay. Because I want people to look at their new normal. Okay. When they come to me, I want you to be able to open up and to be able to say, hey, I feel good okay. about who I am as an individual. And so we do that publicly. Mm-hmm intimately mm-hmm. where I'm doing one on one or group sessions mm-hmm. respectfully. I'm mm-hmm. into respecting everybody's persona, whatever okay. you are. I'm not here to okay. judge you on whatever. Mm-hmm. And educationally. Okay. I want to educate people. Okay. I want people to understand, you know, what they're going through mm-hmm. or what's happening. Mm-hmm. Or let them know that they have it inside of them. Mm-hmm. It's not coming from me. Mm-hmm. So I always put people, whether it's a group, okay. whether it's an individual, whether it's a crowd, whatever mm-hmm. it is, you're the expert. Mm-hmm. Because you have to be the expert in your life. Mm-hmm. I'm just one of the anchors mm-hmm. to be able to help you move forward in life. So that's what okay. it is. Well, I love that. So helping people accept who they are and then what their place is in the world. Right. Um, you know, I always say be yourself because everybody else is taken. So, <laughs> <laughs> so now so I you like talk about things. You talk about uh, making communities and communities making a positive change. Um, what's that all about? I look at... What I've learned is a lot of people don't love themselves. Mm -hmm. A lot of people just are existing Mm -hmm. and not living. Mm -hmm. And I talk to children. I talk Mm -hmm. to adults. I talk to couples. Mm -hmm. So I talk to a variety of different people. Mm -hmm. And our communities are at risk because of that. Mm -hmm. Because of the loss of love of self Mm -hmm. makes it easy for people to be um, numb. To mm-hmm. other people. Mm-hmm. And so once you start to love yourself and know who you are as an individual, mm-hmm. it's a little easier for me to love you mm-hmm. and accept you where you are. Okay. But if I can't accept myself, yeah, then why would I accept you? Right. Well, and that sounds like uh, a, one of the big problems with what's going on uh, mm-hmm. in the world today. Yes. Um, like you're saying, if you don't love or respect yourself, how do you do that for others? Right. And, you know, that's what's happening right now with a lot of the violence and yeah. all of that, even in the the world of politics. <laughs> so now, so how do you help people get to that point of loving themselves? Listening. Okay. Listening. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we just don't have people to listen to mm-hmm. us. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and pushing people and challenging them. Mm-hmm. Challenging you on your thoughts. Challenging you on your behaviors, on your mm-hmm. actions. Mm-hmm. Um, and not making excuses for everything. You know, if that's what happened, that's what happened. That's mm-hmm. okay. I've had many people... Um, a couple of my clients say, you know, I can't stand you <laughs> because because they're looking for a reaction. Mm-hmm. So if I become angry mm-hmm. as a client about something and my reaction is to just 
you know, let you be angry right. yeah. and not take it on as, why are you mad at me? Da, 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 da. Right. It's a different response. It's mm-hmm. like, why you didn't put me out? Why mm-hmm. you didn't do this? Why you didn't? Right. Because you're not angry with me. Right. That's whatever's going on with you. Right. So letting people feel the emotion, mm-hmm. letting people know that that's okay. Mm-hmm. And then they start to calm down and say, wow, where is this coming from? So mm-hmm. helping people get to that like root. That. Okay. Let's kill the root. I don't want to do any surface mm-hmm. stuff. We could do surface stuff. I'll give you a pill and you're happy. Mm-hmm. That's not that's not helping anybody, uh-huh. especially not you. So okay. helping people understand the root of the issue. Yeah. And then they start to go internal. Okay. Then you start to say, hey, I really don't love myself. Or I don't like the things that I'm doing. Or I don't like where I am. Okay. Well, I love that. So now inspire all um, life coaching businesses, you can tell. Um, so tell everyone a little bit about your background and kind of what qualifies you to be in this space. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, qualifications as far as education. I have my um, BS mm-hmm. in counseling. Okay. Psychology, really. I have my MS in um, mental health counseling, mm-hmm. and I'm almost done with my PhD, all but my dissertation, mm-hmm. um, in international psychology, and my specialty is trauma. Wow. So, and then I also have a, I'm a certified professional life coach. Mm-hmm. So, all that stuff. Yes, <laughs> wow, wow. But, you know, and one other thing I do have from my life coaching school is my Energy mm-hmm. Leadership Index Master Practitioner, mm-hmm. where I teach people about their stress. Mm-hmm. And they actually can okay. do an assessment to learn what their stress is, and then I set up a program that suits them. Okay. So it's not a one-shot-fit-all mm-hmm. type thing. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of with education. And then, um, naturally, it just comes natural to me. Okay. I love okay. helping people. Okay. I do. I really do. That is fantastic. And, and I asked that question because, you know, we, we have life coaches on the show um, quite a bit, uh, especially tied to the upcoming event that's coming up that we'll talk about in a bit. Mm-hmm. But um, with that, there's so many people out there you see are labeling themselves as life coaches, but don't necessarily have the qualifications behind it. Right. Um, so I'd love to ask the life coaches about their certification. So the way you're getting the skills. And so you've really gone beyond uh, just the life coaching certification. Right. but you also have the schooling behind that right um, yeah counseling and all that stuff yeah 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 <laughs> and lord help me it's been a journey <laughs> but it's well worth it yeah. it's well worth it yeah and now and i love what you said too about helping um so what made you decide to go into the help the field of helping people um it's so funny that i never thought i'd go to college okay <laughs> thought I got to college. Yeah. I actually went to broadcast and art school. Okay. And I finished broadcast and art school mm-hmm. and um, loved television, okay. got TV type stuff. But I started working and I um, I didn't get a job mm-hmm. because of writing skills. I okay. didn't know until actually I turned 30 years old that I have a learning disability. Wow. But I was working and a young lady at the job was saying how much she liked talking to me and all the time in high school people used to talk to me. Mm-hmm. My counselor in high school told me I was going to be a counselor and I said, mm-hmm. no, I'm not going to be a counselor. <laughs> she said, Angel, you're so patient with people. Mm-hmm. I said, <clears throat> and I just mm-hmm. never recognized it. Mm-hmm. I always said, I'm going to be an inspirational speaker, which I'm, okay. I do, but mm-hmm. you know, this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to be into, no, somebody told me I was going to be an inspirational speaker. Okay. Like Les Brown and I said, no, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So many inspirational speakers yeah, have like, said that, like, but what are they doing? Right. Speaking. Yeah. So I was doing it, then I decided mm-hmm. to go to school for psychology, mm-hmm. and I just wanted somebody on my couch so I could talk to or listen to, okay. you know, and do that. But it's what I'm finding or what I have found out is more than that yeah. that I want to do within the field mm-hmm. of therapy and psychology and coaching. Mm-hmm. It's so much more than that. And so that's where I got my start and okay. why I started. It was just off a of fluke, <laughs> okay. really, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Well, I I'm, I'm know so many people that you've worked with and helped or are happy that you made <laughs> that decision. I mean, folks, you know, we tell you to take notes, and hopefully one of the things that you've already walked away with is just the, the whole concept of 
Um, you know, even when you think that you can't do something that you push through, you can. You thought you'd never go to college, but and that she's almost finished her PhD, all but the dissertation, so that you can do it as well. Um, and then having someone to reach out to that can kind of help you through that and help you um, on your life journey and somebody that's qualified to do that. Now, Angela, we're going to take a quick break for our sponsors, okay. but before we go, please tell everyone how they can get in touch with you. Um, you can get in contact with me through Facebook at Inspire All Facebook. Oh, God, I forget those little <laughs> antonyms, but on Facebook through Inspire All, or you can look me up directly at Angelic Muhammad or email me. Mm-hmm. I take a lot of emails at inspireall916 at gmail.com. Fantastic. Everyone, we will be back in a moment. Meet Shelly. She can make a Labradoodle look like, well, either one. And she's a marketer. Shelly uses Constant Contact email to spread the word about her services, whether it's staying in touch with her regular customers or reaching brand new ones. It works for Shelly, and her clients are delighted. Shelly's a marketer, and all it took was Constant Contact. Try it free. Visita provides a complete business calendar fully integrated with your client scheduling experience. You can view and manage your daily schedule and any upcoming meetings, and most importantly, schedule new appointments and follow-ups with your clients. Using Visita Calendar for client scheduling will save you time and deliver a better service to your clients. Visita Calendar automatically syncs with your existing calendar on Google, Outlook, iPhone, and more. Welcome back, everyone. As always, we want to thank our sponsors for just supporting us. And we want to thank you as well for continuing to support us and watching our episodes, participating and engaging with us uh, with the episodes. Please continue to share them uh, with your family, friends, as well as your colleagues. Now, we are talking to Dr. Angelic Muhammad um, about her life coaching business, Inspire All. And I want to get into a little bit of when we talk about um, working with those and just their life challenges and all of that. One big thing I know, especially for women, but even men now, because yeah. um, there's tons of single dads out there too, is the balance. Talk a little bit about balancing. I know you have um, a child as well, so balancing that in your child and family life with your work life. I tell you, for me, I'm a big family person. Okay. I do have a son. I am a single mom. Mm-hmm. And I feel that... I really didn't start right away fully mm-hmm. like I needed to because I wanted to be at home with my son. Okay. I grew up with two parents. Mm-hmm. So I'm used to coming home yeah. to a full mm-hmm. cooked meal, dad work, you know, yeah. that type of thing. The yeah. the old tradition, mm-hmm. right. <laughs> traditional yeah. way, you know, of living. Um, and I wanted to give that to my son. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't, I didn't mind being on welfare for a while. Okay. But I did work mm-hmm. every once in, you know, I worked. Mm-hmm. I didn't just sit at home. And now, of course, I was going to school. Right. I was darn right. school. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I did that. My mm-hmm. son is 12 now. And so I just recently talked to him and I said, baby, I'm ready to get out there now and do a little bit more. But yeah. I still cook. Yeah. I still, you know, I'm at home. It is a challenge. Mm-hmm. It's very much a challenge. And I can say I've been fortunate mm-hmm. to have a a child who supports me okay. and, That's great. and what That's I do great. and also mm-hmm. who's who's a pretty good student. You know, I gotta rough him up sometimes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, he's he's a he's a he's a um he's an honor student. Okay. So he's he does really well and I always right. say he went to college when he was born or before okay. he was born too, so <laughs> he has no choice. Right. But um it can be a challenge. Yeah. But you have to have a drive and a mindset mm-hmm. to really want to do it. And sometimes mm-hmm. I get stuck. Okay. And sometimes I say, you know what? Forget it. I, mm-hmm. I'm good at being a mom. Mm-hmm. I'm good at yeah. doing that. Like I could just go get a, yeah. a job. Yeah. You know, at what I do. Yeah. And I can still provide, and I don't have to be on mm-hmm. welfare, and you know those types of mm-hmm. things. And you know it'll be okay. Yeah. But working a nine to five and trying to do all that and this, some something's gonna lag. Mm-hmm. I mean, something lags now. Sometimes okay. you know the clothes not folded all right. the time. Right. <laughs> you right. know, or this not right. done. But it can be a challenge. But it's. It's a drive, it's a want, and it's that passion that's okay. inside. Mm-hmm. So when that passion comes out, it's like I can't stop that passion because mm-hmm. otherwise, then I'm sad. Yeah, I'm not doing what I what I need to be doing. And and this summer, actually, my son, we were in Walmart. He said, "Mom, um, you seem a little happy." Uh-huh. And I said, "What are you talking <laughs> about? I've been happy. I'm fine." He's like, "No, Mama, uh-huh. no, 
No, you haven't. You haven't had. He said, you're not all the way there, but you're working on uh-huh. <laughs> And it's so funny. It's like, what are you talking about? And children see us. Mm-hmm. But I always tell him, I say, you know, I made sacrifices to make sure, good okay. sacrifices, mm-hmm. to make sure that you have some type of balance. Because right. you don't have your father. Right. You, we are away from a lot of our family. Mm-hmm. Um, so trying to give him some type of balance. Okay. I know I can't give him everything. Okay. Because I'm not into that. I'm mama and daddy. Never right. can be. I'm just right. mama. I'm not daddy. Right. You know, so I give him as much balance as I can and then put him in different places with mm-hmm. strong black men okay. that he can see. Okay. You know, all his doctors are black on purpose. Mm-hmm. Males. Mm-hmm. Okay. When he goes to, you know, sports and that, I try to make sure that he's with black males. Okay. So he can see productive black men mm-hmm. doing things well, because fantastic. I don't, yeah. I can't give him that. Right. I can't show him that. I'm not a man. Right. He can see a productive black woman. Right. Yeah, but you need to see productive black men yeah. in person, not just on television. Yes, I, I so I that. purposely do that to try to give some type of help. Yeah. I know it's not total because mm-hmm. it's not in the home, mm-hmm. but something. Yeah, and, and I love that because it's back to being who you are and being enough. Right. who you are, and then for those other areas, really reaching out, and that goes back to community that you were talking about in the community, working together. So I, I love that. And now, so, I mean, you mentioned, she mentioned schooling, and you've heard all the degrees <laughs> that she has, and she didn't sit still because she also was an author. Yes. So please tell everyone about your book, What is Love? What if Love? Now, I think <laughs> that is an interesting title. I love hearing that, making sure you can see it Okay. <laughs> what is love? What if love? So tell everyone about the book. Actually, and actually, this is my second book. Okay, but um, I'm gonna redo my fir- first one, so we don't wor- worry about this. One. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is love? What if love? Is how throughout the years mm-hmm. I push love away. Mm-hmm. How I actually pray love away, mm-hmm. and. Because I just didn't want to deal with stuff. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to work, deal with my son, mm-hmm. work, do all of that. I thought I didn't want to, mm-hmm. but I did want to. Okay. <laughs> right, right. Sounds confusing, but it, you right. know, but yeah. it is what yeah. it is. But um, that's what I did, mm-hmm. and I was I was one of the ones who was existing, not living, helping mm-hmm. everybody else right. to live. Right. But I was existing. Uh-huh. Um. Taking everybody else and helping them grow. Okay. And I was staying stagnant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and not really pushing forward. But when I look at it now, there mm-hmm. was a there's a purpose to that. Mm-hmm. And when I look at that purpose, that purpose was to be there for my child. Okay. Give him a base. Give him this. And it's okay that I didn't focus on myself. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes okay. as adults, we start to focus on our needs are mm-hmm. this are that and and sometimes you hear it many a times mm-hmm. we forget about the child okay what they need how they need to grow mm-hmm. and those things and so we have to become a little unselfish to be able to take care of our, our young ones in mm-hmm. order for them to grow and we could catch back don't lose yourself because okay. I lost myself okay I was saying okay. I lost myself and so I talk about that in the book and then it gets a little mature because okay. sometimes we use sex as a you yeah. know a crutch. Okay. So, at, you know, at one point, I did that one time. Okay. You know, um, and we become an option to mm-hmm. people. And we become, we, we begin to gain false intimacy. Mm-hmm. And when you're really looking for something, mm-hmm. you're really looking for someone, you're trying to fulfill a need, mm-hmm. but it can't be fulfilled mm-hmm. from that, so it has to go back to self. Okay. So then I talk about love yourself first. Okay. Know you first, mm-hmm. and then those other things will come on. You don't have to look for false mm-hmm. anything, okay? Because what you give out, like I told you, mm-hmm. my son was saying, I'm feeling a little bit more right. happy. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. gonna bring that back mm-hmm. to you. Wow, now it's been taking a long time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're getting there though, right? right. Time, but <laughs> sometimes I say, Oh, it's coming, sometimes I say, Oh, it's not, mm-hmm. but yet and still, regardless, yeah. I love me mm-hmm. first. Mm-hmm. And so that's what the book is about. It's like, okay. what if I allow love to come into okay. my heart for real? Okay. What if love started to, you know, what if I started to love myself mm-hmm. more mm-hmm. and start to really pay attention right. to who I am as a person right. and not gain these false sense of intimacy right. in mm-hmm. order to fulfill a need that I'm not right. fulfilling at all. Well, I love that. So now where can they get the book? You can get it um, on Amazon. Okay. It actually hit number two bestseller on Amazon. 
Um, and you can contact me through my email that I gave you, mm -hmm. and I can get you a signed copy. And okay. also, October 8th, I'm doing a book event. Okay. Instead okay. of a book signing, I think they're boring. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> We're going to actually do a book event where I am going to do some poetry. It's okay. going to be food. We're going to have dancers that dance um, to the music and the poetry and things. Okay. It's going to be a really big thing nice. here in Georgia. So October the 8th, we're going to be Love doing that. that. And you'll see it, um, of course, on my website um, that's in, under construction right now, okay. which is inspireall.org. Okay. And um, also on the Facebook where you can get me. Okay. So. so so you've got that October 8th, something to look forward to because we know the inspireall.org is going to be uh, up and running in time for you to get the information about that event coming up. Yes. I want to talk about another event that's actually coming up. Um, and for those, because these shows are, are evergreen shows, so <laughs> this is 2016. So if you see it next year, you can check out for what's going right. on in the following year because there's still going to be a lot of uh, great events for you to be able to go to and follow um, Dr. Angelic Muhammad um, going forward, but we also have coming up on April 30th, 2016, we have the Power Life Atlanta Conference, yes. and that's been put on with Men of Vision. Uh, go to menofvisiontour.com to check that out, and you are one of the speakers there. Yes, ma'am. So now tell me how that came about, because this is Men of Vision put it on, but we've, we've had several guests, um, several female guests that are also going to be part of this conference. Yes. Um, actually... Actually, my cousin okay. <laughs> is one of the men of vision. Okay. And fantastic. one of the ones, Dr. Edward Womack, mm -hmm. is actually um, yeah. one of the people that's leading in great. the head and put it on. And he said, Jellic, this would be great. Mm -hmm. You know, you do the coaching and the mm -hmm. mentoring mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. talk about mindset mastery. Yeah. So, actually, I'll be moderating okay. the um, coaching and mentoring panel okay. and then I'll be sitting on the um, mindset mastery for entrepreneurship panel okay. and so I'm excited about it you know it's, I, it's over I believe over 200 some people already registered mm -hmm. wow. and so it's gonna be a pretty nice event yeah. and you're gonna gain a lot of different tools from a, a lot of different experts yeah. on that day so it's going to be a great event, and I'm really excited okay. about that. We, we are looking forward to it, and we've had Dr. Womack on as well and several of the other uh, guests from the show. So we want to uh, make sure that you attend that. There's still some VIP tickets available, and there's some great stuff that comes with the yeah. VIP package. So menofvisiontour.com to check that out. So now let me ask you, what other projects are you working on? Um, actually, I'm... Of course, I'm doing some more speaking engagements, mm -hmm. and I actually wrote a program for trauma. Okay. And it got accepted through the Substance Abuse School of Addiction. Mm -hmm. So I'll be teaching other professionals about trauma mm -hmm. in August okay. in Savannah. Okay. And so I'm looking to get that program actually certified mm -hmm. and teach other people how to work with people who have been traumatized. Mm -hmm. But I want it to be an international thing because mm -hmm. my studies are international. Okay. So be able to take people to Africa. Okay. Be able to take people to the different islands to actually really learn what trauma is okay. and how to work with people on emotion. Because okay. what I find is wow. a lot of people mm -hmm. get misdiagnosed. Mm -hmm. So if I've been through a trauma, if I've been through a rape, if I've been through um, abuse when I was, some type of abuse when I was a child, or even physical mm -hmm. trauma, you know, mm -hmm. With our vets, PTSD mm -hmm. and those types of things. A lot of times we get um, a diagnosis of bipolar mm -hmm. or okay. just ma just major depression mm -hmm. or um, multiple personality. You know, different types of, or just substance abuse. Mm -hmm. What's the root? Back okay. to the root. Okay. How did this occur? Mm -hmm. Have you been like this mm -hmm. before this happened? Yeah. Or did this happen because of this? Okay. So teaching people how to... Learn to um, deal with the emotion of that mm -hmm. and to process that. Because you may not be bipolar. Of course, I'm angry. Right. Of course, my mood's going up and right. down right. if I've been traumatized. Right. And I never dealt with it. It's in a box somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I always tell people, and this is my funny thing, I always say, you know what? It's like being constipated. Mm -hmm. Nobody okay. want to be constipated. Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> when you're constipated, yeah. you know, your system start to break down. Mm -hmm. And, and you, you become mentally drained. You okay. know, things start mm -hmm. to happen in your body. Mm -hmm. You become sick. You become ill. Mm -hmm. You bec you can become emotionally yeah. constipated. Yeah. Wow. You become mentally constipated. constipated. What does that do? That causes stress. That causes depression. Mm -hmm. That can cause you to have substance abuse issues. Mm -hmm. It causes you not to love yourself. Mm -hmm. So it can cause all these things. Mm -hmm. 
So my thing is, let's get unconstipated. Mm -hmm. Let's start releasing some of those demons mm -hmm. and releasing some of that stuff mm -hmm. in order to feel whole again, right. in order to start loving yourself. So I want to teach our professionals okay. cause, because we don't we don't learn to process trauma. Mm -hmm. We have been taught, and it's coming out a little bit mm -hmm. better, a little slower. Mm -hmm. We have been taught not to process it because you'll re-traumatize the person. Okay. It's not true. Right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really, I mean, I've been traumatized. I've been yeah. raped. I've yeah. been molested. Mm -hmm. But processing that, talking about it, working through it, mm -hmm. understanding it, because it's still a blame there, still a self-hate. Right. People become promiscuous, right. and you just think this person is a, is a whore mm -hmm. or this or right. that. Right. That may not be so. Right. It may be they're trying to have a sense of control. Right. You have mm -hmm. sex trafficking. You have mm -hmm. a lot of different things that people encounter right. on day-to-day -day basis that mm -hmm. we don't want to talk about right. because it's just not right. good to talk about that. Right. Let's just give you a pill and you know mm -hmm. we're going to calm you down and mm -hmm. you're going to be okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Wow. A lot of great information, mm -hmm. everyone. We want to make sure that you reach out to Dr. Muhammad. Um, if you had any of these experiences, <laughs> or even if not, and you're just trying to just figure it all out, trying to figure out life, mm -hmm. trying to figure out how just to, to love life, and like you said, to really enjoy and appreciate the meaning of life, this is an opportunity. Make sure that you reach out to uh, Dr. Angelic Muhammad. Before we go, please tell everyone once again how they can get in touch with you. <laughs> You can get in touch with me on Twitter, um, InspireAll at Twitter.com, also Facebook at InspireAll, and, um, or you can look me up at Angelic Muhammad and um, through my email at InspireAll916 at gmail.com. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, everyone. We've had a wonderful time. Hopefully you've got some, some golden nuggets that you can take with you. Please, once again, be sure to share this episode with others, your family, friends, your colleagues. Um, you can go to www.bizlinks.tv so you can check out this episode and others in our archive. You can also go to our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash bizlinkstv. Don't forget to share it. Don't forget to make sure that you like our page while you're out there as well. And then also go to our YouTube channel at YouTube dot com forward slash bizlinks tv be sure to subscribe so that you can get episodes as they're released and you'll get those notifications directly from youtube letting you know what the the next big nugget is that you'll be able to enjoy um out there on youtube make sure you also give us some comments and ask some questions of our guests as well we want to make sure that we're engaging with you i'm pamela alexander with bizlinks tv network exposing your business to the world <laughs>